Here's a quick tour of the Denver Trident Unlimited South Platte temperature sensor network. We'll start at River Run Park, the city of Sheridan. Here, John Davenport, president of Trout Unlimited, is, re is retrieving a temperature sensor from the bottom of the river. Ronnie Crawford is handing him a reader. This downloads the information, which is, which is collected once per hour. The downloads happen every three or four months or when we can get there. Once the data is collected, it's uploaded into a database that we maintain. Our next stop is Overland Pond Park. This is an area that's recently been renovated with some additional fish habitat. The sensor here is located underneath the Florida Avenue Bridge. Although the sensors are attached to the river by a length of chain, the river does move them around, especially during times of high flow or if there's any sort of debris in the river. You can see John fly fighting the high flow, but he did eventually find it. Our next stop is Johnson Habitat Park. This is a new sensor location. You can see the sensor, a brand new length of chain. John's placing it in the river. Our last stop is the Mile High Riffle near Elitches. This particular location has more than uh, one sensor. It has a dissolved oxygen sensor in addition to the temperature sensor. So you can see there's a couple of things attached to the chain. So John will walk over to the shore, download the data from both of these devices, and then throw them back in the river until the next time. When the Chatfield renovation project is completed, we will have access to a new allotment of water for environmental users called the Chatfield Environmental Reservoir Pool. By using the temperature sensor network, we will be able to time releases of cool, clean water during hot summer months or times of low flow to maintain a vibrant fishery 365 days a year. For more information, go to denvertu.org.